Hello. Welcome to brand new Nixon Field. First official team session on Nixon. It became important to us that we weren't just replacing a field. Work on two, one, two, work. I think we're in a current climate where we have to think differently. The ideal experience we like to offer at the university integrates athletics with academic uh, concerns and, and, and the educational mission, as well as a sense of social responsibility. And I think that is one of the things that makes me most excited about what's happening here today. Not only the, the refreshment of this facility for, for our student athletes, but that it is being done in a way that accords with our larger sense of ecological responsibility to the planet um, and links in so many ways to the other dimensions of the university's strategy at the moment. So being able to provide a space where students, student athletes can excel and can perform and also create a space that, that aligns with some of the key environmental objectives and the sustainability of the goals of the university and the city of Kingston uh, became just a flat out win-win situation. And having the ability to also not just say that we have state-of-the-art facilities, which we have here, but also uh, marry or match the local expertise in our athletic programming with uh, provincial and national sport organizations, which really is uh, the partnerships that we uh, work with Queen's University on to host a lot of events that you'll see throughout our community, including on this field. Long-term independent research has shown up to a 29% lower incidence rate of total injuries for field participants using heavyweight infill. This revitalized turf field supports the vibrant and enriching student experience that makes Queen's so special. Our sport is very physical by its, uh, by its nature and so to know that the department and the school are, are taking these additional precautions to, to help support our players and make sure that we can train that little bit better and, and know that we're going to be that little bit more safe when we are training and competing. I, I think that's, that's really important and, and we certainly appreciate that consideration in, in making this happen. There's a certain wow factor when kids come into our HPC and then they come down here and they see this and like the realization that this is ours, like this is like your home, that's something that most universities would sort of struggle to match. The carbon catch infill, which is the first of its kind that can help the environmental footprint in a way that nothing else can. We determined that, that this was a really good fit for us because not only did it allow us to improve the quality of the field, you know, everything that also addresses safe sport, stronger quality of under pad, managed concussion, but it also allowed us to capitalize on some unique technology um, in the CO2 se sequestration with wollastonite being embedded in the infield. And Nixon, it's, it's, a, it's an innovative approach. 
it kind of gives back to the uh, to the earth. So it's permanent durable carbon removal of the atmospheric carbon. The idea here is that you take a mineral, which in this case is blastonite, you crush it, so you essentially increase the surface area of the mineral, and the mineral will take up CO2. So it absorbs CO2 naturally, you know, as it sits out in the environment. Uh, by breaking it down, by increasing the surface area, we speed up the amount of CO2 that the, the mineral can absorb. This is the kind of sequestration that really can be very long-term sequestration. In a field that is going to be here anyway, it's, it's got the surface area that's required, it provides uh, a nice venue to do this kind of work. That's the cue. I think any of the fields that we have to replace, we will be looking at new technologies. I think it will be very interesting over the course of the next two years to actually be able to get some data from the field CO2 sequestration to determine the functionality and the viability of the wollastonite. I think being able to produce some metrics that helps us to actually assess the impact are going to be key and that information will help to inform further, further field replacements. In many ways I think of this as a demonstration to show the potential of the technology. Uh, I do think that we have to do some of that math. It's early days with these technologies uh, and it is the sort of thing that the university in particular should be leading on. Go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Are you happy with all the lines, all the line markings? I love all the lines. The letters look good. The support from the rugby community was instrumental in being able to get the first version, I think, of the Nixon field in place. And that was followed then by additional enhancements from, from, from key donors as well, who helped with the Nixon field scoreboard. I'm just so pleased that we were able to replace the field and continue the legacy that they're giving helped us to achieve. So much of what we do here at Queen's is uh, made possible by the generosity of donors, and it's important the students today enjoying this facility should understand uh, how what they enjoy has been made available to them. On behalf of all the student athletes here at Queens and all the community members, as well as the 14,000 intramural participants, we just thank you for this field. <laughs> Good try.